Eels v the Panthers, I can't tell you how nervous I was, what a game it was, went down to the final minutes, in fact golden point, it was the most stressful game but Eels getting the job done here, what a game, it was about 8-0, 35 minutes to go, then half time was 8 all, and then 75 minutes in, Eels were up 16-8 but then Panthers somehow clawed back in, Cleary, I mean, even I was like, wow, got the field goal at the end at two points. Massive, 16 all, going to Golden Point. Then Mitchell Moses gets the field goal to win the game. Absolute thriller. What a game for the grand final rematch, eh? Massive game. And key moments in there, like Junior Paulo giving away the penalty at the end, which gave Cleary the opportunity, and that massive kick. That was an amazing hit from Cleary. And then Wonga Blake getting the penalty for the Eels and that was it. Eels went down there and Richard Moses saying he's going to get that new contract, kicks the goal, proves his worth, gets the win for the Eels. Finally, Eels getting the job done here. What a game. Massive game from the Eels and overall very entertaining match and I was just nervous the whole time. And yeah, that's my review. That was a massive game. And so here is my fantasy review for the game. The best player of the night was Zach Hosking, 92 points. Did really well for the Panthers, scoring a try and good, good overall player. Yo did well, 82 points. And Cleary, he had a massive game, getting that two-point field goal to give the Panthers a chance in the game. Madison, he made so many tackles, almost 60 tackles in this game. Massive um, game coming back after three weeks in suspension. Mitchell Moses, the big game, the big game player, getting the job done. 64 points in fantasy and getting the job done in the real game. And Dylan Edwards, hard worker, 62 points tonight. Well as Hopgood getting a 62, so he bounced back from last week. Fisher Harris, 60. And everyone who owned Cartwright were happy to see him score a try early, 58 points. Penasini, Campbell Gillard and Toto all solid points, 53, 49 and 47. Dylan Brown was 45 if you picked him up. And Hands on the boost scored a try, 43 points. Kenny was 41 and Spencer Lenny on 40 and the rest below 40. Big scores from players like Hosking and Yo and Cleary and Madison and Moses was a big game and that delivered through fantasy as well. So if you captain Cleary, you wouldn't be disappointed. Again, with Hopgood, you wouldn't be too disappointed. And so that's my review for the NRL Fantasy for Thursday night. Thanks for watching.